Hi, so a couple of people said that they didn't understand some of the steps that I used uh, on my Garmin GPS videos. And I think probably the reason is because I couldn't see my screen. So you can see my screen now and that's all you can see. So I'll just talk through the steps really quick while I was doing and you watch this video in conjunction with the other ones and you should be good to go. So basically the question was how to get a route from Google Maps into my Garmin Navi. So let's go through the steps required to do that. So I'm going to start Google Chrome or your browser of choice, doesn't matter. And I'm going to go to maps.google.co.uk. And this video I won't talk about how to create a route and all the intricacies of creating a route in Google Maps. Because they're pretty easy anyway. So let's just, we'll say the same one as before. Well, never mind, let's just go to London to Glasgow, it doesn't matter. Any route you like, you can type it in and Google uh, Maps will design a default route. So actually that's a bit far, so let's do a different, let's do something closer. So Google uh, London to Oxford, which would be the M40. But we don't want to do the M40, let's go through Henley and that kind of, this is a nicer way, and Wallingford. Okay, so now we've put a via point into our route. Now that should be good. So what I'm going to do next is start the program Tire which you can download for free. It's called Trace Your Route Everywhere and you see it now on my screen for Tom, Tom and Garmin. So what this basically has the function is to import from website. If you do that, it will pop up with a dialogue to where, where to put in the address for the website you want to import from. Now you've actually got the way to do it. The magic that you do is you click this link icon back in Google Maps here. You copy, right click here and copy. You go back to Tire and you paste it in here. Then you click down on import in tire and it'll bring up a tire window. This is this looks like Google this looks like a browser, which it is really, but it's tire basically showing you just the route, which is fine. And you say import that, it thinks about it for a little while. And it imports it. And you see that it's from there to their waypoint of uh, nettle bed. So what we're gonna do, just to verify that it's okay. Um, and I think to get tired to recalculate it, I tend to do this to show route. And it's this kind of seems like duplication, but it, I, I think it's required that you do this because basically what tire will do then is actually calculate the route properly. So it goes from so this is tire's um, version of the route and it's identical. That's fine. I'm going to click OK and it'll say uh, creating route tracks and that happened quite quickly. But if it's a longer route, it'll take a bit longer to do that. And then you, this is the other magic. Basically, you say save as. And you get the option to save the Garmin GPS exchange file or GPX file. So what we do is we call it whatever we want. So let's call this uh, London to Oxford. Dot uh, GPX. Okay. Click save, and that was put I think on my desktop. So what? On my desktop now, I've got this GPX file called London to Oxford GPX. Now, if you have Map Source, you can check that, that the route is okay. You can just kind of double check things by opening in Map Source um, London to Oxford. There it is. It's on my desktop. Show, show selected route on the map. Okay, so you can see at the moment that, that the uh, route. It, um, App source doesn't know anything about the actual individual roads, it just knows it just knows the points. So to get around that, what we say is recalculate route. Just this gives us an, uh, a good guess at what the actual Garmin unit will do in the end because the as long the maps are the same, or they should they should be the same as the ones that your Garmin unit are using if you've got map source with your Garmin. Um, now you don't have to have map source, you don't have to have map source at all, you can check the route on the Garmin, you don't need this, but this is just kind of saves you some time. So that looks that looks good to me. That looks pretty much the same. I won't show you how to do map source, we don't care. So actually we won't do anything else in map source, let's we'll get rid of that. And now what we'll do, I've already booted up my, I've already let my Garmin device connect via USB. So when I go to Windows Explorer, which is just Windows key and E, and I maximise that window, I see that there's a Garmin Novi. And what I want to do is go to, into the Garmin folder, and you see we're in the Garmin Novi drive in Windows, which in this case is J. It may not always be J, it depends what Windows decides to do. It depends what else you have connected. So I'm going to click on the Garmin folder, the GPX subfolder. You see that I've, I've got a couple of, uh, of files already in there. You don't have to worry about those at all. What you do is you get your London to Oxford. I'm just going to copy it and go back to my GPX. This is on the Garmin device now and paste it in there. 
And now what happens basically if I plug out the Garmin and I do what I showed you on the other videos, which is import um import route from file under my data, that 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 route will be there and it'll be absolutely fine. So thanks for listening. Bye.